Hi Momentals, thanks for watching another Moments by Booth video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Akeem Booth, real estate YouTuber and realtor. And today we're in Old Harbor, more specifically, Kobe Manor to check out my brand new listing, which is a two bed, one bath that's available for a rent, going for an asking price of $100,000 per month. But enough of the chattings, me no one ready for the video. When you ready, run me intro. So this is the property pretty similar to the one i recently put out that one is actually gone by the way that one was up for rent and for sale but we got a buyer for it and that's gone but this one this brand new one as well nobody has ever lived in it it's a two bed one bath up for rent and of course i'm gonna show you the exterior so it's the standard 3500 lot size for these two bed one baths and as you can see from the outside you have air conditioning on the inside windy of course because what else right you have a solar water heater on the inside as well and you know what comes standard with these chemtech homes is an indoor laundry area so your laundry area is right here but when we get on the inside we'll check it out So this is a vantage point from this side. And of course, the property owner has planted some grass and plants. These will be placed in the ground. This is your property boundary, just in case you wanted to know. Yeah, so that's it. And the maintenance of the yard will be taken care of by the property owner that's inclusive in the hundred thousand dollars asking price that this property is going for but of course you know real estate is negotiable so if you have close to a hundred thousand dollars you can put in your offer you never know what might happen for you so this is a little patio area here very cool in the evening time you can put out a chair and a table and do some relaxation right there what's also nice about Chemtech homes are they come grilled, standard. So we have a nice fan and light setup that's inside the unit as you step into your open concept living and dining space. So this fan, of course, it comes light off, light on, light off. You have three different fan speeds and you can turn everything off altogether. If you're here, you can see as well that everything is off turn back on the fan turn back on the light let's put this down and let's check out the rest of the unit so we have grilled windows as i mentioned before mm -hmm. nice large tiles leading into the kitchen area you have a pantry to your right Dark cabinetry on the inside, upper and lower cabinetry, and lots of storage spaces that are down there and are up here. Double bowl sink, of course. A space for a standard style stove, 30 inches. And then your refrigerator would go right here. Now moving into the back, this is where your laundry area is that I was mentioning before. So this is your traditional standard wash tub and then your facility for your washer and dryer of course the ceilings are high or vaulted ceilings so you do get space if you want to put a stack of a washer and dryer you have your window here you can look out see the backyard all right just in case you don't know what inside here looks like you've never seen a chemtech Two bed, one bath before, over by Kobeck Manor. I'll show you on the inside. All right, and this is a space that you can store your seasonings. And then you have a wine shelf right here for you wine lovers. All right, so let's check out the secondary bedroom first, which is right here. 
So that's the bedroom. And like I mentioned before, the two bedrooms are air conditioned, which is really nice, especially coming up to the summer period. Nice high ceiling, so you won't feel crammed in the space. You get two windows inside this bedroom and you have a power outlet right there, one right here. So there are just two power outlets inside this bedroom. All right. I'm just taking you guys from wall to wall. Don't mind my Crocs, they're very comfortable. I love them so, comment down below and let me know if you like wearing Crocs as well. This is the closet space. Open both doors and step back so you can see it. And then what you see through this window is the carport, which can facilitate two vehicles without a shadow of a doubt. Let's close this back up. All right. And what you see through this window is a side yard. So once those, that grass grows in to the side and to the front, you look out and you'll see lush green. And like I mentioned earlier, the maintenance of the yard will be taken care of by the property owner. All right. This is your Jack and Jill bathroom or the shared bath between both rooms. All right, that's me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video as well. All right, so that's your medicine cabinet. You get a glass that you can look in. Let's see if it's a floating vanity. It's not, but it gives a full floating vanity vibe. All right, toilet is there, towel rack is there. Shower tub combo, grill bathroom window, toilet paper holder, and the tub right there. The ceilings are vaulted again, and you have your light fixture right there. So moving into the primary bedroom now. So the primary bedroom is larger. That's evident, even on video. All right, you have your windy air conditioning unit over there. This shows you the side yard again. You have another window over there and you have this nice large closet with space up top where you can put your suitcase and large sheet sets. Similarly, you could have placed a sheet set or two or a suitcase in the closet in the secondary bedroom. You have one lighting fixture right there. You have another one right here. So there are two lighting fixtures, not lighting fixtures, power outlets. <laughs> so you have two power outlets inside the bedroom as well. This window shows you the backyard. All right. Let me open up the closet for you guys so you can see it. I really like the heft of these doors. I mentioned it in my previous Kobe Manor listing. That's already sold. But the heft of these doors, I really do love them. It really gives me a premium feel, like even just the way how they close. It does feel nice. You'll enjoy going inside your closet. I can tell you that much. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this property. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope that you guys enjoy this property tour. If you're interested in renting this property for yourself, reach out to me at 819-9918 or at akeem at sotheby'srealty.com.jm. If you didn't catch that, it will be on the screen or it will also be in the description box below. Let me know what you think of the property, how you would improve it. Do you think the 100,000 price point is reasonable? Also, don't forget that real estate is negotiable. You can always negotiate. Doesn't mean you'll always get your way, but in this business of real estate, it is negotiable. So if you can make an offer close to the hundred thousand dollars, I don't think that your offer will be refused, but the property owner is requesting a hundred thousand dollars for this listing. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget that the goal is to live life on your own terms, and that is what I'm out here doing each and every time I make one of these videos for you. That has been enough from me, A B signing. Out. Oh.